Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about a process that happens in human beings and is super necessary for sexual reproduction, which is called gametogenesis, and it's the creation of sperm and egg. So really fast, I just want you to think about that word, gametogenesis. So think about what gameto stands for and what genesis stands for. We have seen genesis before because of processes like lipogenesis. Okay, so think about what that stands for. Okay, so if you thought that gameto had to do with gametes, 100% correct. Gametes are our sex cells. Genesis has to do with creation. So creation of gametes is the process of gametogenesis. It, um, for, it forms gametes and it only occurs in sexual organisms. So organisms that use sexual reproduction to produce offspring. Um, the primary sex organs that are going to be involved in this process are going to be the testes in males with their production of sperm and the ovaries in females with the production of ova or egg cells as we commonly know them. What are the types of gaminogenesis in human beings? Well, it has to be the, this process by which males form sperm and the process by which females form ova or eggs. So gametogenesis can be seen in two lines spermatogenesis so sperma for sperm genesis for creation o genesis o for ova genesis for creation so male and female gametogenesis today we're just going to be looking at spermatogenesis so spermatogenesis occurs first of all in the testes Okay, and it actually occurs in the wall of something that are called seminiferous tubules, and we're going to see them in a second. Um, the process is going to start with a germ cell. The germ cell is just the first, the primordial cell that actually is going to um, lead the way into a, the creation of sperm or the creation of eggs. So it's the first cell, and since we know that the, that cell, the first cell that is going to go through meiosis, and end up in haploid cells need to, needs to be diploid, this cell is diploid. And, and with males, that first germ cell is called spermatogonia. I'm going to tell you what it's called in females later on in the week, but remember that it's the first germ cell. Both females and males will have this germ cell, but in males, it's going to be called spermatogonia because it's going to lead to sperm. It's going to become, it's going to create sperm. Okay, so here we have the spermatogonia, and as I told you, this 2N refers to it being diploid. So this spermatogonia is going to do one thing. First, it's actually going to go through mitosis. Remember, mitosis is just the cloning of that cell. It's not meiosis just yet. And when it goes through mitosis, it creates two cells. One of the cell is going to stay as a spermatogonia, so that it can redo the process as many times as it wants. And the other cell is now something that's called a primary spermatocyte. And that primary spermatocyte is the first cell that has differentiated or decided that it's going to go into the process of meiosis and eventually form sperm. So primary spermatocyte is for sure going to go through meiosis and become sperm. This primary spermatocyte, once it goes through meiosis 1, the daughter cells are secondary spermatocytes. And once the secondary spermatocytes go through meiosis 2, they become something that's called spermatid, which is a very immature sperm. It doesn't have its little tail yet. So it's just going to mature or differentiate, create its tail and create its structure to become what we know as sperm, the mature sperm. Okay, so let's look at where this happens. This is just a cross section of a testes. Okay, so if we can see inside of the testes, you've got all of these little tubes. These tubes are called seminiferous tubules. So if we see a transverse section, uh, a, a section where you can see um, a little bit parallel to what you're seeing here, not parallel, sorry. Uh, perpendicular to what you're seeing here. You can see this seminiferous tubule has its outer membrane, which is called basement membrane, and it's also going to have an internal little bit here that's called a lumen. We're going to see that in a second. 
And what the seminiferous tubule is actually made out of are these cells that are called Sertoli cells. And they're the cells that kind of help the process of spermatogenesis. So they surround all of the cells that will that are going through meiosis to become sperm. So if you can see right next to the basement membrane, you're gonna have your, your original spermatogonia, that germ cell. Then it will become sperm spermatocyte as it's moving inwards into that seminiferous tubule, then it becomes a secondary spermatocyte, then a spermatid, and finally a sperm once it grows a tail. Okay, if we want to see it in a different way, we can see it like this. These are the testes, these are the seminiferous tubules, cross-section of seminiferous tubules, and what you can see right here in this cross-section of the tube is what's happening right over here. So basement membrane, all of these yellow um, areas are the Sertoli cells. They're super big cells. And right in the middle, you have spermatogenesis, spermatogonia, primary spermatocytes, secondary spermatocytes, spermatids, and finally, free um, sperm that are able to swim. Okay, and this occurs in the lumen. Just so that I am sure that you understand this, this is all. This is a cross section, so it's a little bit of a different view. It would be this view, okay, versus seeing a transverse section, which is this view. So it's a little bit of a different view. And what you can see here is that this would be the outside of the um, seminiferous tubule, and this would be the inside of the seminiferous tubule. So spermatogenesis kind of occurs from the outside moving towards the inside with the mature sperm being able to flow in this lumen, in this hole. And you're going to later on see that actually being able to flow in this hole is what allows um, the sperm to be transported to the destination it needs to go to. Okay, so today's assignment, uh, first of all, you guys are going to be watching another Ed Puzzle video okay, that might clarify what I just showed you a little bit more. And once you're done watching the other Ed Puzzle video, you're going to do a little assignment, which is a spermatogenesis worksheet. You're going to have a question, uh, sorry, a word bank, which is this one. It's going to have 10 words. And you're going to have to look at the diagram that also has 10 labels and try to figure out which word goes where. Okay, once you figure that out, you're going to write the word down in the space provided, and then you're going to look up the definition of each one of the words. Some I've already kind of given to you, but I do want you to be in to go and research. So if you say you find acrosomes, then you need to figure out what an acrosome is. Now you're going to be seeing that in today's Edpuzzle video, but other things like Sertoli cells, you might want more clarification on those cells in the seminiferous tubules, okay? Um, same thing for spermatogonium, what is it? Okay, so that's what you guys are going to be doing today. Hopefully that was helpful.